about me. God has given you your spouse so that when your head is like a pinhead, he or she is able to pick you up and encourage you on. And when your head is like a gigantic pumpkin, he or she is able to bring it right back down to the necessary size. And we're all somewhere on the continuum between pinhead and pumpkin head. <laughs> and the skill in spousal articulation is in making sure that we don't give it the pinhead treatment when it's the pumpkin and, and vice versa. And, and in pastoral ministry, it's no different. Every pastor needs a wife, if for no other reason, said my friend T.S. Mooney, than to keep him humble. I mean, you don't want your wife saying, honey, you're the greatest preacher. I just love your preaching. It's nice every so often, but... <laughs> and your kids. You don't need your kids giving you that either. I, it's hard for me to say this without being self-aggrandizing or exalting my children, and they hate it when I mention them, but I'm so thankful that none of my kids are remotely interested in being on videos or on tapes or anything to do with anything to do with me for the radio or for anything else. I only found out when I was last in Los Angeles that Cameron said, oh yeah, they wanted me to be on that video. I said, what did you tell him? He said, forget it. I'm not going on that. Why not? Well, I'm not going to go on there and blow off about you, Dad. I'm not going to go on and say nice things about you. <laughs> and I love him for that. I mean, he's the guy who said, why don't you write a book that somebody wants to read? <laughs> but that's important. especially when I want to wallpaper my bedroom with my newspaper articles. I mean, I got articles up the stairs that went back in the Scottish newspapers. My secretaries will tell you this. The, uh, the headline in the Scottish newspaper said, Boy from Clarkston takes America by storm. Right? How stupid is that? But you know what? I like that. Yeah. <laughs> storm. The only storm is the storm rising in my own evil heart that would seek to squash out every good and vital and important influence that God has given us for our well-being. 